Allez, moi, je suis back moi, comme on fait. Non Hi guys, welcome. <laughs> welcome to Nella's channel. No, let me do the intro, baby. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with Ads, Jerome, Lucinda, and today we're going to be doing a drunk Q&A because we are so sober. Sober gang. Sober, sober gang. gang. <laughs> He's falling asleep. <laughs> Would you rather wake up to no belly button or wake up to no nipples? <laughs> <laughs> Some people have an inny, not any baby button where you can't yeah. see it. So that make a difference anyway. But your breasts, your nipples, you need I'm that. I'm you need I'm that. Yeah. I you need that. I need to be able to feed my man and feed my kids at the same time. Cause you know, see, I breastfeed or oh. you need it. Yes, yeah, so right. Next so, question. Let me sit down. Foolishness. Foolishness. There's this boy who I think is amazing. We yeah. go to different colleges, so I haven't been able to see each other. He's a little bit out of my league, but has complimented me. How can I talk to him without seeming <laughs> desperate? He's not out of your league. Why? What makes him out of your league? It's not for like it's because of a designer. It's not out of your league. Yeah. You feel like he's yeah. wearing balances and stuff. Baby girl, that, baby girl. Out of your league or baby what? Baby girl, we don't do um low self esteem, right? We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Oh baby girl, you know you look good. That's right. You know you're sexy. You know you look sweet. Oh, you're out of your league. It's out of your league. He's out of your league. You know you don't deserve you. You don't deserve you. Encourage you for what post him. Right. And you have good. to and you have to, you have to ask you about like sir. Arch. Cause you know say every time he see you, Nella. you have a fear. Nella. And then it's from Congo, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's not out of your league. What make what makes you think he's out of your league? Do you get me? You deserve anyone you feel you want. Do you understand? <laughs> so go <laughs> Listen, if, like, you, if you don't like it for you, then you'll find someone that's better in your life. <laughs> you'll find someone that's better, you'll find someone else better. I did shut up. Ad, shut up, bro. Yeah, Ad, please. <laughs> okay, you come up. Can, you, can you dance to an African song? What's that? Ah! <laughs> Do you think you can wear the Premier Gawu? You cannot. Do you know you have, to, you have to use waist movement? No man, no woman. You use listen, your waist listen. and you really have that rhythm you could dance to any song. <laughs> Hey. Will you reveal yourself? Yes. I will you reveal yourself? I will reveal yourself. 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 What would you do if your man exposes your nudes and the whole relationship was a lie? Hold on, it, it, hold on. You see the alcohol here, you see when it just hits the belly that it Your man is not your man. Is your oh. man really, really your man? man? Huh? Is your, your man, man really your, your man? man. Your sugar really your sugar. sugar. <laughs> is your honey really your honey? Is your sweetie really your sweetie? Is your, fufu, is your matchy your... really your matchy now? Is your yam really your yam? Is your fufu your really your fufu? Is your nyash really your nyash? <laughs> and what would you do if your pastor from church was in a sexual relationship with your dad? Go on! This is where I go now. I'm not gonna lie, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Shall we? Hold on, a sin is a sin. But as a pastor, you should know better. I've all made mistakes as humans. 
But I know you're meant to be setting an example for all the other people out there. So if you find that a pastor sleeping with your dad, yeah, a pa and a pastor doesn't mean it has to be a man, you know, by the way. A pastor could be a woman. As in. Yeah, it could be a woman. As in. And they, if they're sleeping with your dad, they're doing wrong. God. Respect God, you know. Yeah. You see, you people, you read the Bible and you know what is wrong and you go and do it. You lot are on this contradictory thing. This is That's what you lot are on. I'm not you lot are on. I'm Jesus not. said this. But my pom pom say this. Ah! Jesus said this. <laughs> As in, what are you on, my guy? Preach. No matter what religion you are, there are golden rules. If you don't RV, you know the golden rules and golden laws, yeah. And adultery is one of them. So in either way, whatever you are, that is a sin. That is a sin. I'm so sorry. Abomination! What would you do if you wake up and your man's curly hair is left on his pillow? As in, this man was doing this closure. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if a man is wearing a lace, lace closure, I need to understand who even installed you because you know who I even do installed hair. Your yeah. I do hair, you know, so if you don't come to me, I need to know who you went to. So who you really, you know, hairdresser did you go to? Who, who are you fucking? It's the end yeah, of the question. Who went down? Bye! Bye.